Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So this is another Anoto pen that I have here for review. Now, uh, this pen is it's a special pen. Uh, I do like some of these Anoto themed pens. And uh, this was a pen that I saw uh, in the summer sale in Colt Pens. And I just had to pick this one up. So I think let's go and unbox this uh, special pen. So as you can see, this is an Anoto pen. It comes in uh, this textured uh, card box or board box. If I lift the lid, uh, you will see uh, you get an Anoto polishing cloth. And if I remove that, and you'll see here you get this beautiful words uh sort of uh, box lacquered box and if i open that uh you'll see uh the words uh, anoto there in the top of that uh lid uh you'll see you get this here as well uh and then you have the uh pen pouch so if i remove uh the pen pouch from this box and i'm just going to move this box out of the way just so i can show you the pen in a little bit more detail so it comes in this uh, anoto sleeve and if i uh, try to remove and i always have trouble uh removing these straw uh, drawstring pouches so if i try to remove the pen you will see here it is the anoto and this is the cult pens uh, uh edition of the christmas cowl uh, 2021 uh, this is a really beautiful pen uh, and I picked it up in the summer of uh, 2023 um, I do like the writer's editions and I know Mont Blanc do obviously some writer's edition pens and Noto also do some so they do that they do themed ones with like Jane Austen Charles Dickens and, and this is the Charles Dickens Christmas cow now I believe this was uh, made after the original version of the Anoto, which I think was 2019, uh, where all of this uh, um, sort of Christmassy sort of uh, leaves and uh, holly and that uh, were actually green gilded. Uh, this is gold gilded, but you can see there the amount of details that you can see there in that pen. It really is quite beautiful. Um, I do like the gold uh, gilding. I like it more than the green gilding, to be honest. And I, I think this was a very, very nice touch from Anoto. So you can see there you've got the cap finial. And it spells out Anoto. Uh, you get what essentially is a silver clip, but this is vermeil. So it's uh, gold plated over silver. And then you have the, the three sort of... Uh, distinctive Anoto bands that you see on, on most Anotos. And then you have the limited edition number. So this is number 9 of 10. So there were only 10 of these made uh, worldwide uh, in, in this colour. And um, when I saw this at Colt Pens, I saw it in the Christmas sale. And they had ones with steel nibs and they had ones with gold nibs. And I... I saw the steel nib version and then I worked out if I actually decided to buy a gold nib afterwards, I could get the steel nib version for less with a gold nib than I would if I got the gold nib version. So I decided in this case, which is a rarity now, uh, to buy the steel nib version. And I have a steel nib on this at the moment. Uh, I will probably change it, although I, I'm a little bit torn because, and I'll show you why. If I unscrew the cap, uh, I do have the Anoto number no. 7 size steel nib. And this is a broad nib. Now, typically, I don't go for broads. But the reason being, I, I figured out fairly early on that I was going to ink this up with a shimmer ink. So that's the reason why I'm a little bit torn. Because this writes beautifully well with a shimmer ink. And... And I like how it writes, so I don't really need an 18 karat gold nib. But if I were to do and upgrade this nib to 
a 18 count gold nib, then I would probably go for a medium. And although the 18 count gold medium and auto nibs are actually quite juicy wet, I still think I might have some more of an issue with the shimmer ink. Because shimmer inks typically prefer to be in a broad nib, at least from my experience. So that's why I've not upgraded this one yet. Um, can I post the cap? Yes, I can. And you can see there, it posts very deeply and securely. Uh, I really, really do like uh, the, the size of this pen. Uh, this is a pen I could actually post the cap on if I wanted to. I think it looks beautiful when it's posted, honestly. And, and you probably know from watching my videos is that I don't normally post my cap. But uh, I, for some reason, I just like the way that that looks uh, in my hand there. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So um, even though when I write with this, I typically don't um, post that cap. I, I kind of still want to post it. Um, now, the filling mechanism in this one, like most of Noto's, is a cartridge converter. So you can see there the um, pen. If I shake that a bit, you've got uh, the shimmer ink there and... Um, it will sort of clump a little bit, see, like gravity. It it takes a little bit to move shimmer ink around. Uh, sometimes it's better, if you're going to use shimmer ink, to have one of those little sort of um, either plastic or or metal agitator balls inside the converter. If, if you can destruct uh, or deconstruct a converter uh, and then put a couple of balls in the rear of the converter and then screw it back up, then sometimes that can help. Um, Personally, though, I don't normally have issues. These are Schmidt K5 converters, uh, a Noto branded, and typically I have not had many issues with them. Uh, I find that this pen writes very, very well. Uh, I do find that it has a little bit of an upturn there on the tipping, if you can see that there. There's a little bit more tipping on the top than there is the bottom of the nib, and obviously the bottom of the nib is typically where you would write. Uh, but I love writing with this pen. It, it writes very well. The ink flow is actually pretty good being abroad. Uh, and it will also uh, not clog up too much uh, with the, the shimmer ink that I have in there at the moment. So when I saw this, I just had to get it. It was a very good price at Colt Pens. It was, it was on a, a summer sale and... I, I just looked at it and thought that is a really good price for an Anoto. So I'm very glad I picked this up. But interesting, though, this was summer of 23. And this was, I believe, the 21 or 22 edition um, of the Christmas Cowl. However, uh, at least for Colt Pens. But there were only 10 available. So it clearly didn't sell that well for some reason with Colt Pens. And I don't know why. Uh, for me, I, I love the, the the material. It is a resin material, but I like the engraving that's gone on there. And you can just see all the way around the body of that pen. It is a very Christmassy pen. And may, maybe that's why it didn't sell as well. Possibly because maybe a lot of people are not really into Christmassy pens because... Maybe they think that they can only write with it at Christmas and not all year round. Maybe that's a possibility. Uh, personally, I will write with this all year round. It doesn't bother me. Uh, so this is a great pen. Um, and I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison. And then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen... Uh, this is a, a an Anoto Magna Classic size, so we're looking at about 140 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is 65 millimeters in length, and if we unscrew the cap there, and then we'll do a measurement of the body to the tip of the nib or tip of the tines, we're looking about 130 millimeters in length. So that is basically bordering on what I would class as an oversized pen. And you can see that there in the size of my hand. It is actually a really good size. But if I wanted to post that cap, I can make it longer. So if you are one 
uh, that will hold the th uh, sort of the, the pen uh, more up on the threads, then that doesn't look too bad. If I remove the cap, obviously it is going to be maybe a little bit short if you hold around the thread. But if you hold around the base of the section, it's actually a decent size. So I think with that, let's do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen... We are looking at just under 25 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at about just over 12 grams in weight. And the weight of the body, I'm going to try and stop that rolling. We're looking about 13 grams in weight. So it's actually quite a lightweight pen, but a pen that is also very comfortable in the size of my hand. So I think with that, let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Enoto Magna Classic in the Chase Amber. We have an Enoto, and this is the Platinum Jubilee in the Overlay. We have a Mr. Cypress, and this is the Varden Dragon. We have an Enoto, and this is the Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. We have an Enoto, and this is the Coronation in Sterling Silver. We have the Anoto, and this is the Colt Pens Christmas Cowl. We have an Anoto Magna Carta in Sterling Silver. We have a Mr. Cypress Maple in the Forest. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 05A and a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 06. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So this is the Anoto. And it is the uh, Colt Pens. And it's the Christmas Cowl. And it's a broad and it's a steel nib. Now, uh, with a Noto, the steel nibs are Yovo and the gold nibs are Bok. They use the same Schmidt uh, nib unit housing. So you can actually interchange the Bok and the Yovo nibs into the section of the Noto pen, which is... A really good idea now in terms of ink in here uh, this is again another Colt pens exclusive but it's a uh, Vinter Colt pens and it's whiskey gold but ah, that is uh, a beautiful gold shimmer ink uh, and uh, in terms of line variation I am seeing about a broad line here i can push it a little bit more but you're not going to get much more out because it is a steel nib and you can see the figure of eights there and if i do some more vertical lines here you can see that there's no hard starts or skips so this nib is tuned very very well now this is a shimmer ink so it is going to be more on the drier side of things so if i do uh, an ink swatch here you're going to see it's going to be quite dry, um, even though it's a broad nib. But that is what I would expect because shimmer inks, typically you're adding particulate to those inks. Uh, and that is going to break down uh, the uh, ink. So it's not going to be as wet on the page. So what do I like? What do I not like about this pen? Well, I, I love that it's got, it, it, it's an Anoto pen and I like and love it. It's got a Charles Dickens theme to it, a writer's edition. Uh, I do wish Anoto would do more of these. Um, I I do really like the, the writer's editions of Mont Blancs, but I just find that the majority of them are way too expensive uh, and, and overpriced for what they are essentially. So I do like that Anoto are doing this, and they're doing it in relatively affordable versions of pens as well. Um, I love the the actual scroll work, the decorative work that is going on. It's a Charles Dickens scroll. Um, it really is beautiful, and I, I think a lot of thought has gone into uh, the making of this pen. Uh, it is a pen that, that I um, have been writing with quite a lot, and I have had inked up. And uh, I am still a little bit torn on whether or not to get a 
uh, medium nib because I do like having this ink, this shimmer ink, inked up in this pen. Um, I do have a few other non-shimmer gold inks I could put in there. And maybe that's where I might then upgrade this to a gold nib. But at the moment, I'm actually perfectly happy with that steel nib. So maybe when it comes to the next uh, London Pen Show, maybe I might buy another one or two uh, spare nibs. Uh, and then maybe I can interchange them out if I need or want to. So there you have it. That's my review of the Anoto Colt Pens Christmas Cowl. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.